doing in the UK. So I've decided I'm gonna take the carburetor apart and clean it all up. I do this with every van I've ever owned. I'm pretty sure this is a 34 PCT. So to get access, I've removed the distributor. As you know, you just take these clips off either side. I've removed the rotor arm, which just pulls off. Then there's two 30 mil bolts, one at the front and one at the back. Let's see if you can see that. Um, nope. And I use to get the one at the back, I use a 30 mil one of these, which just half turns it. Then you use your, both your fingers either side of the carb to stop the nut from falling down. Then you've got to disconnect the fuel, which is just a screwdriver. Then there's the um, the cutoff valve, fuel cutoff valve wire. Then you've got your choke wire. This gives 12 volts to the choke, which comes from the coil. In fact, they both come from the coil. The lives always come. Then you've got this little small barrel that slots in here that this throttle cable comes through and I just use a pair of pliers, two pairs of pliers. I undo the, the bolt with the pliers whilst holding the throttle cable. But obviously you could just use a spanner on that. It's probably about eight mil in it. So then that should all be loose. The, sometimes you, you'll have the, the loom runs past the carb. So obviously there is a gasket in here. I don't know what condition it's in. Yeah, there we are. See the, the loom's in the way there. So I just lift the loom over it. See? And um, there we are. I'll just, just sit that there a minute. Don't forget it's full of fuel. So, I mean, that carves a joke. Bodge uh, right up. I think I've got spare of that. I'll have a look. See if i got a spare. But even all this gunk doesn't need any of it. You're better off just having a nice new gasket. And, uh... Uh, I'll see if we can put it in there. So it's gone. So let's just lift it out. Oh, there's a the vacuum. Let's try and keep it stood up while it's got fuel in. Let's just pull the vacuum. I'm not sure. Let's look at it all round quickly. Is there any number on it? I'm pretty sure it's 34 PCT. Obviously, this is the choke, which you can adjust. I always put the dot in the middle, so there'll be a dot on this plate. You can hardly see it there. And I always put it on the middle dot. It's all to do with the temperature of the weather. Obviously, got that. He's bent that in. It doesn't need to be bent. He's probably done that because the fuel pump or something's in the way there. Or maybe it used to have an alternator, something like that. Let's turn it around. So then you've got the fuel cutoff valve. So the spring's important, and this is how you set up the the choke, which I tend to do when the car's uh, warm. You got to turn this until it touches the bottom cam, then back quarter of a turn. No, no, then forward quarter of a turn. I think that sets your choke up. Yeah, so it is a 34 PICT, and which one is it? It's a so. No, it's a bow car, not a Solex. So if you want to do that one there, um, you can let the fuel out, but also your main valves in, your main valve jet thingies in there, but they get a bit clogged. So let me just try and pull this. There you go, there's your vacuum advance hose, which slightly advances it. Let's lift it out. Right, so let's look at what it likes inside. Let's uh, let's move the choke. There's a bit. I mean, obviously it's dirty. You can see that, but from that it's dirty. Let's move the choke. I mean, it on. Let's try and do this with one hand. Yeah. So if you look at that, it looks pretty clean in there. Still needs a clean one. So I'm going to give this a good clean, I'm going to take all the valves out and jets, I'm going to put, blow them all through with air. So if you look at the, let me see if I can point them out to you. That's your main 
air screw people tend to use that to adjust the tick over and you've got your volume which is your fuel I have it about one and three quarter turns out and I have that usually about two turns out and that tends to give me an okay setting to start from and then as you can see there's a jet in there that's it well I'm going to take it all apart and put it back together again with my trusty um And there's my lovely little girl. Hi, Yasmin. You all right? Grubby thing. Grubby thing? What's that? Uh, and that's what it looks like. A bit crappy. I'll take this off and I'll see if I've got a spare. Let's look down the hole, shall we? Okay, let's, I want to scrape all that off, all that shite. All right, thanks a lot. Louis in the UK.